Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making the first part of the options menu, the resolution settings. I'll be continuing from my previous tutorial on how to make a main menu in Unity, so if you haven't already checked that out, I highly recommend that you do that first. If you already have a menu, this tutorial should still work fine, as I'll be building off essentially a blank canvas. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is deactivate the main panel and activate the options panel. I'm also going to click on the title and set its scale to 1 on all dimensions, as I forgot to do that in the previous tutorial. Next, I'll duplicate it and set its name to resolution text. I'll also change the text to say resolution. Then change its font size to 50 and its colour to something slightly different from the title. To position it, I'll change its pivot to 0 on the x, which just means that when we set its position on the x, it will be relative to the far left side of the text object. To demonstrate this, let's first change its anchor to the middle left, then set its position to 50 on both x and y, its width to 350, and its height to 100. When I click back on pause x, we can see that there are 50 pixels between the left side of the object and the left side of the screen. Next, I'll create a drop down. So right click on the options panel, go UI, and drop down. Again, I'll set its pivot to 0 on the X and its anchor to the middle left. Next, I'll give it a position of 65 on the X and negative 15 on the Y, as well as a width of 300 and a height of 50. I'll scroll down and under options, I'll add the following. Next, I'll expand the drop down and click on the label. I'll set its font size to 28 just so that we can see it a bit better. Next, I'll enable the template, expand that, go viewport, content, go to the item and set its height to 35. I'll expand the item and then select the item label. To this, I'll set its left to 30, top to 3, and bottom also to 3. I'll also set its font size to 25. Essentially, when the game runs, this template is duplicated and the text is replaced with the options that we configured down here. Now we can collapse all of this and disable the template. I'll right click on the options panel, go UI, and toggle. I'll press F2 to rename this and call it the full screen toggle. I'll set its pivot to 0 on the X and its anchor to middle left. Its position on the X will be 65, Y will be negative 80, width will be 200, and height will be 50. I'll also scroll down and make sure is on is unchecked to set its default value to unchecked. Next, I'll expand it, go to background. Set its anchor to middle left, position to 20 on the X and 0 on the Y, and width and height both to 40. I'll expand that and go to the check mark, for which both width and height will be 40. Next, I'll click on the label. This will have a left value of 50, and every other value will be a 0. I'll also change its text to say full screen, and its font size to 30. I'll also vertically align it in the middle. Finally, I'll go to the colour and set it to black so that we can see it more easily. Next, let's double click on our main menu script to open it up in Visual Studio. We're going to need a new using tag, so at the top, type using system.collections.generic and this allows us to scroll down and create a new variable of type list of integers. I'm going to call this widths, and this will be equal to a new list of integers, add some brackets, and inside curly braces we can initialize the default values. I'm going to duplicate this, call it heights, and set its default values. As you may recall, these values correspond directly to the values that we put in our dropdown for the resolutions at the start of this tutorial. Next, we're going to need two methods, public void 
set screen size, which will take an input of type integer, which I'll call index. In here, all we need to say is bool full screen equals screen dot full screen. This just saves whether we are currently in a full screen state or not. Next, we'll have an int width is equal to widths at the index of the input. I'm going to duplicate this and say int height is equal to height at the index. To set the resolution, all we need to say is screen dot set resolution. Give it our width, our height, and our full screen. And that's it. Our second function will be public void set full screen. And it will take an input of type bool, which I'll call full screen with an underscore. This is super simple. All we have to say is screen dot full screen is equal to our input full screen. And that's it. With that done, we can now return back to the editor. In here, select the drop down and find where it says on value changed. Hit the plus icon and drag our main menu manager into the game object slot. For the function, we'll hit the drop down, go main menu, and at the top, select set screen size. Make sure you choose the one at the top, as this will automatically give it an index when the value changes. Next, select our toggle. Scroll down to on value changed, hit the plus icon, and again drag in the main menu manager. For this, we'll go main menu, set full screen. Again, make sure you use the value at the top. This should all be working now, so let's build it to test. Go to File, Build Settings, Build and Run. And here, I'm going to create a new folder called Builds. Inside it, I'll create a new folder for Build 1. Select that, and then click Select Folder. Now that the game's loaded up, we can test it by clicking the drop down and selecting different resolutions. They all seem to be working. We can also test the full screen toggle, which swaps the application from being windowed to not windowed. The resolution still works in full screen mode. The right side of the menu is looking pretty empty right now, but that's going to change in the next video, in which we'll look at creating a volume control. That's the end of this tutorial. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.